Hey, good evening. While a lot of people in public health are saying we have entered a fourth wave of the pandemic with COVID cases doubling over the last couple of weeks, new cases are on the rise in all but one state. But this all boils down to one thing, getting vaccinated. Nearly all of the new cases are in unvaccinated people nationwide. For those shots, the pace has come to a crawl with just over half of all Americans 12 years and older fully vaccinated. In Minnesota, it's about 65% of the state being completely vaccinated. And while that puts our state in a much better position than many of the hardest hit states right now, keep in mind that's just the statewide average. And Kent, the risk can look a lot different if you look at certain communities and racial demographics. Yeah, that's right. Whether it's by geography or race, there are areas of the state where fewer than half of the population is vaccinated. Now, public health officials know it will take extra effort on the ground in those areas to change that. And we got to look inside one effort in North Minneapolis this morning. There's been a buzz about the recent promotion offered by Wilson's Image Barbers. We're offering 50% uh, haircuts for anybody that receives the vaccine. And owner Tito Wilson is eliminating 100% of excuses by bringing the shots directly to his shop in North Minneapolis every Friday and Saturday through late August. If half of a haircut can help convince you, then have at it. And if it takes a little more convincing, community partners from the Stair Step Foundation, His Works United, and Black Nurses Rock are all doing their part to spread the word. We're reaching that part of the population that is skeptical. You vaccinated? So we're just here to have that face-to-face -face conversation with people and um, help answer any questions they may have about getting vaccinated. Hey. And the effort is having an impact after averaging four shots a day last weekend. Grace and peace, everyone. I'm getting my first vaccine shot. The shop matched that within two hours this morning. I saw it on his social media, reached out to him, and I'm like, this is great. I'm going to come through and get my vaccine. Leslie Redmond is a former director of the NAACP Minneapolis, who was hesitant to get the shot before today. And she's not alone. According to MDH, just 47% of black Minnesotans 15 and older are fully vaccinated compared to 61% of white Minnesotans. Like many African-Americans, I think there's some hesitation with trust in vaccines. However, one, I've seen so many successful cases. And secondly, I realized that it wasn't just about me, right? Just like combating racism and white supremacy, combating COVID-19 is gonna take all of us. And so even though I had COVID-19 last summer, this wasn't about me specifically, this was about all of humanity. I think it just depends on people's experiences. Tito has been careful not to judge the skeptics because he was there once too. I said, no way, I'm not going to get it. Um, but there's a doctor that's involved in this uh, project here. And he kept coming in and kept talking to me and giving me the facts, giving me the information. So I just changed my mind. Okay. It took a little longer to convince his coworker. I was scared when the first one went, went, take a shot. I didn't know what they was going to stick me. I didn't know what they was giving me. But eventually, Tito's decision to lead by example cut through the noise. He took it, and I was watching him, so nothing happened to him, so I said, so I guess I'll go and do it. Bad and so, account. one month after getting his first <laughs> dose of Pfizer. Here we go. Yeah, take a deep breath in and out. Another one, in. The barber was and back out. in the chair today. All done. What? What? Did you stick me? I did. I promise you, look, see, needle gone, you're done. A nearly pain-free shot at a brighter future for the community. All I can do is encourage people, you know what I mean? Stay alive. At this point, any death from COVID, you know, is avoidable. So, you know, come and get your vaccine. The shots at the shop program will continue tomorrow and on each Friday and Saturday through August 21st. It's part of a national initiative and more Minnesota barbershops are expected to join in in the coming weeks. And we certainly saw what kind of an impact it can have one shot at a time. That was incredible. We saw three people in three minutes who were hesitant over the last year get the vaccine through thoughtful conversation. Yeah, That's amazing. each one of those 
people might have family members or mm -hmm. friends that they'll talk to, and that's really the goal here. Right. Well, so the Barbara mentioned in the story that the Pfizer vaccine is the one that's been given out. Is that what everybody will get there? That's the cool thing. They have the Pfizer vaccine, but somebody else came in and said, I just want one shot. I don't like needles. They have the Johnson & Johnson vaccine, too. They were able to give them really whatever they wanted. Wow, that's amazing. All right, thanks so much, Kent.